A couple years ago, I went to uh, North Carolina to interview Dr. Maya Angelou. Uh, she was a very strong music background as she was a recording artist before she became the Dr. Angelo she knows. And one of the things that she said that, that made such an impact on me was that she said, people forget what you say and people forget what you do, but nobody forgets the way you make them feel. And that's that emotion thing. That's the thing that we all need inside, especially music people who are so, so sensitive. And uh, there's always that duality, and that goes back to rejection, too. To succeed in our business, you have to be open enough and sensitive enough and an open book for all of this emotion that you can write songs. But you also have to be savvy enough and strong enough that you can deal with rejection and you can deal with the business realities. And I think that's what makes some songwriters, shall we say, a bit complicated, is dealing and balancing those two things. But the way you make people feel is, is just a huge key to how they respond to you, you know? If you make people feel good about themselves, you bring energy and enthusiasm to the situation, you're, pretty, you're, you're going to do well. Yeah, I think that's yeah. uh, sage advice. One more piece of advice when you're at the airport. Now, if you notice, nobody's cute when they're looking at a cell phone. Everybody gets that scrunchy face, right? <laughs> I always encourage people to be very present, especially socially or to, be, to observe what's around you. Airports are one of my favorite places to network. Um, people have a level of honesty when they feel that they maybe would not see you again in an airport. But one of the tricks that I do is when I walk through an airport, especially if I'm flying from LA to London or to New York or to Nashville or to Atlanta, I will walk through the airport and find the music people. And <laughs> I will begin a conversation with the music people based on something that I can identify about them. Keep in mind if somebody asks you for something, there's a bigger value than if you throw it at them. If, if, if somebody says, what kind of music do you do? And you say, oh, it's like retro, punk, reggae, skate music with, you know, with tube and throat singing. I'd be like, can I get a copy of that? You just intrigued me, right? And because I ask you for it, there's more of a value than you telling me, oh, listen to my new record, right? So always keep that in mind. Well, let's, let's go on to uh, chapter 11, defining your directions. I found uh, this absolutely crucial from word one. So this is, a, people, you need to know who you are and where you are and where you're going. Yeah. So this is, this is very important. Cool.